So I had to start this vlog all over again. I was just vlogging. Everybody, how's everybody doing? I was on earlier with my review. And now I'm on because I just want to send a little shout out to everybody, you know, and tell everybody hi. Also, I when I did my shout outs, my regular shout outs, um, I said, little dude, it's big dude. Please forgive me, big dude. Um, and I just want to, you know, just in case tomorrow gets really crazy, you know, I've already said it a couple of times. I want to tell everybody, have a happy new year. And let's start the new year off right. Let's start the new I'm going to be doing my hair while I'm talking to you. You know, I'm always doing something. Let's start the new year out right. Let's um, try to put all our differences aside. Because right now, there's so much going on in the world that it's a shame. We don't know who to trust. We don't know what we're doing. And I'm going to say some things, and people may agree with it. They may not, but that's okay. Whoever we have in office in the, in the White House and whatever, they're not really thinking about us. They're thinking about everything I think but us. They're not... I think protecting us to the best of our their ability or whatever. And you know, I'm with no guts and no glory on survival. That doesn't mean to panic. Again, I'm doing my hair while I'm talking to you. It doesn't mean that everybody should start to panic and you know, whatever. But I think that we should be aware that they really I don't think it's that they don't care about us. I don't think that they have it in them. Men are not made like, and women are, are not made like they were when I was coming up. They have no feeling about the world in which we live in. They have no feeling about people. They have no feeling about anything. I think that they have a feeling that, you know, they can live and they can be what they want and they can have what they want. It's kind of like the haves and the have nots, you know. And they don't understand that they've survived because of the middle class. Okay. The Bible says that the poor are always going to be among us. And that's probably very true. But it used to be, at least I guess, and I was never what they consider poor. I never was. My father had a job. My mother had a job. He was in the military and and then he had a barbershop and a store. So it was a little different for me than it was for some people, I'm, I'm sure. But I think that as long as we were clean, you know, and did what we had to do, that's really all that mattered. Having all these fancy clothes and fancy cars and stuff like that, it's wonderful. I have a Chrysler. It's a station wagon. No, it's not a station wagon. It's a minivan. I don't think they make station wagons anymore. They probably do. I just don't know. But it's a minivan. I'm happy with it because why? I deliver food. And when I deliver food to people, I need something that's sturdy, that's, you know, that's big, and that I can deliver the food. I mean, well, I don't deliver food anymore because I am handicapped now. You know, I've had my, um, my stroke. So it does not... Um, permit me to carry really heavy things anymore like I used to did deliver food and stuff like that so they have to come to the church and pick it up but I see all these people you know um going to and fro now and you know we've forgotten how to be people we really have and I think for the new year you know you may think Oh, it's not possible. You know, nobody's going to do it. But if two or three people get with two or three more people and they begin to change their actions, you'll see that a wave of people will change. We've got to change, okay? Because at the end of the day, and, you know, that's my favorite saying, okay, if, you know, something should happen, We've got to, we may have to depend on one another. Okay. I'm not saying that you can't depend on your government and stuff like that. I'm not going to, I'm not one of those people. I really don't know. I'm concerned about our safety and our children's safety. And I think that you are too. 
I mean, it's only natural that you would worry about yourself and your children. It's it's not one of those things where, you know, you um, you can you can't help but do it. You can't help but feel it. Okay, and I think that we are going to have some more attacks. I think that because everybody's saying, oh, you know, this is not going to happen, and I think they're stopping a lot of things. Like. I was watching something the other day. There was actually a movie, but it was saying, you know, the, one of the women was saying, Does, do you think that the people know how much we protect them? And I'm sure that that's probably the case. They've probably foiled a lot of attempts on us and other countries, but by the same degree, they can't stop everything. So for 2016, I'm going to ask that everybody be vigilant. No more not paying attention. No more not, um, you know, if you see a bag somewhere, it's not supposed to be there or it's empty, call somebody, tell somebody, you know? I mean, this is not the time to, to get you know, all whatever it is that we get when we get locked up in our own business. You know, we have to, um, by and large, I guess, think for a minute about other people's safety besides just our own. And like I said, we're living in perilous times. Um, we've got all kinds of wonderful things going on. You know, we've got... Um, a lot of wonderful things going on, computers and, you know, lots of things going on, but we've also got a lot of bad things going on. And when bad things are going on, we need to take care of one another. It's time for us right now to put down our hatred for one another and stick together, because if we don't, we're going to be in a heck of a mess. But anyway, with that being said, Happy New Year. Um, let's start the new year out right by being human again. Um, for those people that don't know what human is, we'll tell them later. Or we'll explain to them later what human really is. Let's try to be friends or at least civil to one another. If you don't like somebody because of their ethnicity or the color of their skin, that's all right. That's your right as a human being. But... You know, my mother's favorite saying, and I probably have said this several times on here, you know, you never know who's going to give you your last drink of water or your last piece of bread. So with that, try to be kind to everybody. You don't have to hang around them, but you do have to be civil to them. All right. And that, that's all I'm wishing for New Year's. I don't want a new car. I don't want, if I get some new clothes, I always want some new clothes, but you know, I don't, I, I want. Americans to to be Americans again. Okay. So with that being said, have a happy new year. May you prosper this new year. May God give you the um, strength and the ability to do so. And may God love you and wrap your family up in this 2016. All right. Love you. Mwah.